guys, so it's time for another tutorial. I wanted to do this look for a really long time, and as you can see, it's this gorgeous greenish brown kind of smoky eye. And I have it based on this Prestige Total Intensity Long Term Eyeshadow, and this is in Hocus Pocus. So it's a gorgeous brownish kind of green duochrome. Very, very similar to Max Club. It's a gorgeous eyeshadow. This is a great look for um, for going out at night because it's kind of dark and smoky. And it's also really good for, I think, St. Patty's Day because it has green, but it's not like cheesy. It's still kind of wearable. And if you guys also have the Wet n Wild Color Icon palette, this one is called Comfort Zone. There's another dupe for it in here. They have the exact same shade. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do this look. We're going to do a voiceover. I already have half my face done on this side. So, if you want to see how I do this look, stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, so first off, got to start out with your base. I'm using my favorite Stilo Eyeshadow Base in Medium. Applying it all over my lids, underneath on my lower lash line. And I'm taking a second base, so I usually do a nude base and I'll switch to whatever color. In this case, it's a black pencil Milani Liquify, my fave. It makes a great black base because it's really smudgy and still set. So I'm blending it out with my Stone Lace Synthetic Blender. And then I'm doing my crease transition. I'm just using a bronzer actually, and it's just any one that you want because it still has that same effect. And then I'm going in with a deeper brown and I'm etching out that crease. So the main lid color is that Hocus Pocus, patting it on with my synthetic shader, and look how beautiful it looks on top of that black. And then once the lid color is on, you can deepen it up a bit. I'm using the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild. Gorgeous, gorgeous, dark brown shimmery shade, which will smoke it out as opposed to like a black. And then on the lid, or on the lower lash line, I'm popping in a teal pencil to make it pop even more. And that one's from, from Milani as well. So we have a brighter tear duct teal color, just to kind of bring some more light to the eye along with the waterline color. And I'm again using Wet n Wild, um, one of their color icon palettes. I just love these Wet n Wild shadows. So once you've got the brighter teals, and we're going back to the original Hocus Pocus shade, getting our lower lash line, and then smoking it out with that same dark brown and my small detailed shader brush, which fits right under there perfectly, and getting that underneath the Hocus Pocus, and then you're going to deepen it up even more with black matte shadow from Wet n Wild. Don't worry if it looks a little cray, you will clean it up with a um, wet wipe. So doing this cleans up the shape instantly and then you don't have to use tape which pulls all in your eye. So I did the brows real quick. They came out a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like how they turned out. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go back and blend. Um, I'm setting, um, I set that concealer underneath my brow bone and then I blended the crease transition again. Now I'm lining with liquid liner. This is from L'Oreal. I really don't like it that much, but oh well. Um, so and I'm actually setting it with black to make it more intense. These lashes also gave me problems. They were not good at all and I ended up changing them afterwards when I took pictures. But we're moving on to the face. I'm using this Adria Wine primer and then my one of my favorite um, drugstore foundation which is L'Oreal Magic Lumi. Um, but first I'm going to highlight and I'm using Palladio's Yellow Banana Concealer. I already did the other side of the face so just doing this um, left side. Um, setting that with Neutrogena and then setting the rest of my face with um, Milani Multitasker, one of my favorite um, face patterns. We're going to contour with bronzer from Milani and my small dome contour brush from Sedona Lace. All the brushes are from Sedona Lace. I usually use those in my tutorials. And then contour that out and then this is a really pretty pink shimmery bourgeois blush using that same brush which is nice because it really gets the color on because it's really um, compact. And then we went for nude lips. I used a Wet n Wild Peachy Nude, topped it off with this Milani Random Gloss and you are good to go. Okay, so this is my final look. My St. Patty's Smoky Green Clubby Eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
and I'll have all the products listed as usual on makeitbyrenren.com. I tried to use a whole bunch of affordable items, drugstore, theatrical, like Ben Nye and whatnot, so that way you guys could replicate it and not have to spend way too much because this shadow, even though it's um, really gorgeous and it's a dupe for Max Club Eye Shadow, you can definitely find it, find a lot of comparable kind of brown duochromes at the drugstore like I did. So that is it, and until next time, I hope you guys have a great night. Ciao, bye.